What's up guys and welcome back to Adventure Boat. My name is Kelly. We're here at SEMA 2023 in Las Vegas, Nevada. The big show. I'm going to show you everything awesome with rooftop tents and everything to do with getting those rooftop tents on your rig and on the trail. Stay tuned. All right guys, I'm here at the Inspired Overland booth with Ferdinand. And Ferdinand, you guys have an amazing new tent you're launching here at SEMA. What do you got? Well, we've got a carbon fiber rooftop tent that is a hard top and the only weight 80 pounds. 80 pounds. Correct. That is amazing. All right, now let's get into a little bit of the specifics about how are you able to make this tent that light? So uh, we based it off of our original design, which is uh, that one in the wood last year. Uh, it's a, you know, lightweight, a ton of cover, and now we just develop it. So, you know, how do we stay hard top, but also functional at the same time? So we use uh, carbon fiber with aluminum. Okay. And, uh, you know, basically we design it, we draw it up and, you know, we, it makes it happen. <laughs> It's awesome. Yeah. All right. So there's one more outstanding part of your componentry of your tent that just really caught me off guard. The price point. What is this thing price for it? Uh, the <clears throat> for the retail price at twenty one ninety nine. Okay. Uh, but you can uh, pre order now until the end of the month. Uh, ship to your house for eighteen ninety five, or you can pick up at one of our uh, warehouses for uh, fifteen ninety nine. Wow. That is a well sub two thousand dollar rooftop tent, hard top that is 80 pounds. That's unbelievable. Now, how are you able to really make that happen? So uh, we're basically direct manufacturing, uh, still do my own design. Uh, we own the factory ourselves because it's family owned. Uh, you have a factory in China, Taiwan, and Vietnam. Oh, wow. I still do, I still go fly back and forth. I still do my own drawing. Uh, you know, so basically we do our manufacturing and we do our distribution. That's hence the pricing that you get. That's excellent. And where are these all assembled at? Uh, it is all assembled. Uh, either Vietnam, Taiwan, or China. So that out of the three, uh, we basically incorporate different pieces, okay. assembly one, and send it here. That's so US. cool. Correct. Yeah. And this thing, it just, it not only is it light, it's very cost effective, but it looks great as well. Now, what are we looking for as far as the foam mattress? Because that is a big component of rooftop tents is a comfortable night's sleep. Correct. So uh, with the new purchase of your carbon fiber rooftop tent, we actually made uh, a foam topper air mattress that will come with your purchase. Oh, wow. Um, and as you know, when you purchase our product, we're trying to put uh, a lot of different features into one package. So when you uh, receive it at your house, you know, you even get the ratchet wrench. You get right. all the brackets, the ladders, all included in the price. That's perfect. So at fifteen ninety nine local pickup, you're getting an air mattress, a ladder, a brackets, a rain fly. So uh, pretty much almost anything you can think of to basically for you to put it on your car and basically ready to go for your adventure. So amazing. All right, this thing is amazing. I love this tent. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you very much, Kelly. Thank you. All right, guys, we're here at the Flated Booth with Ken, and I had spoken with Ryan at PNW right before you guys threw uh, a camper shell right into the lake and <laughs> swam across the lake with that thing. It's super epic. You guys have got a lot to follow up with this thing on, but he hinted at a new launch. Is that what this is today? Correct, yeah. Okay. And by the way, I want to apologize uh, to the expo about that. I heard about it. Um, that was, it was epic. Uh, yeah. I, All drama aside, it was epic. I heard it was really <laughs> funny. And uh, I've been known to go, I do a lot of our social media, pretty much all of it, and do the product testing. And uh, one of the ways that we got a lot of recognition was uh, I ran it down the Colorado River and I fished off of it. Nice. And so Dan so cool. decided, he's like, all right, we're going to do that yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to one up that one. Yeah. Perfect. But the cap, it is. So uh, we still have the original camper shell. And the original camper shell is is taller. It's right. more elevated. And from our consumers, we listen to the feedback from people and what yeah. they want. And one thing that was at the top of the list was more of a, a straight shell, more of a streamlined shell. And for us, we went taller because although it, you know it, it is a truck topper, in our mind, all of us camp in our trucks. Right. And the nice thing about the the first version and the still a version we offer is that since it was taller, it gave you more headroom when right. you were camping. So. With this one, a little less headroom, but a sleeker look to it. Right. And it's the response to it has been overwhelming. Another thing that we were able to do with this is we have an, what I consider an affordable truck topper, especially compared to a lot of the toppers that are out on the market. But Absolutely. this one's even more reasonable. This one will come in now at a, a $1,199. Oh, wow. That's 12, a great price point. $1,200. It really is. Yeah. Um, it's got some new features on it. The, the way that we have now with the D-rings, with the roll up on the window, um, just a lot of new uh, uh, things, technology that we've used right. on it. Um, still as easy as ever to install it. You just simply inflate it, 
put it on your truck, run the cam straps through the D-rings, torque it down, and you're on your way. Perfect. It seems like you're just taking the original idea, improving upon it, and I'm sure you've got more in the works, right? We do, we do. Yeah. We're trying, I, I, I call him the genius. Uh, Dan Watts, who is our designer, we keep him very busy. Although you would think, oh, just a couple of truck sizes will suit it. It is incredible right. the, the number of variations of not only the truck bed sizes yes. and the configurations, like as an example, I'll throw out there to all the Dodge guys with the Ram boxes on there. Yep. You know, that had, you know, certain aspects to it that were challenged that we're overcoming and working with. We've been busy increasing the number of SKUs that we have, right. but with this one, we now have a more streamlined, you know, straighter edged flat across the top topper. Um, I call it the California style, right? Uh, especially with Dan. He's like, yeah, I see a lot of the caps out here. You know, they're just straight across. Super and, uh, it, Plus, it, it, for the super Overland community, I think it's going to allow people to put like an, an exoskeleton rack and run those really heavy rooftop tents. True. So you may, I'm sure you could mm -hmm. strap onto here, but it may not be the best functionality of that. Yeah, product. no, that's a great point as well. And like, we're big fans like Billy Bars and right. certain rack companies out there. We love those guys and those rack companies. And yes, absolutely. This will be one that it'll have a little better fit, especially for those lower right. profile racks. But for folks out there that maybe don't need that big rack system, we do have on our topper, we have D-rings, just mm -hmm. like they use in the rafting world, right. that will hold thousands of pounds yeah. of torque. We can, you can actually put more torque on those D-rings than the roof of this can handle. And that's another big thing that we get asked is, uh, how much weight can I put on the top of our camper? We've had, I, I've parked a four-wheeler, not on the truck, but right. I, if you watch our Instagram account. I saw that, that was <laughs> impressive. <laughs> I literally, you know, we get people that challenge us online sometimes yeah. about, how rigid it is and whatnot. They call it a pool toy. And I don't respond negatively to them. I just right. try to prove them wrong. Yeah. And so I've literally taken our air deck, which is our camping platform, driven my four wheeler right up on top. I'm 240 pounds. Right. Uh, I Googled the weight of my Yamaha Grizzly. It says it's 650 I was pounds. Say, those aren't light. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, we're talking oh, 900 pounds and I parked it right on top, showed it with the camera at yeah. different angles. There was nothing inside and it'll hold it. You know, demonstrations like that just speak volumes to mm -hmm. the community. So that's awesome. We just try to do these things to show people like, are we the perfect answer for everybody? No. I mean, there's so many great options out there. We're just another variety, another right. flavor in the cap world. And we, we, we know we have to earn people's respect and that's what we're trying to do. Well, yeah, I see you guys. I've seen these out in the real world and real world use case scenarios and they perform. Like I haven't seen anyone bashing it just doesn't work you know yeah. it's everyone's like these are great so that's perfect now you have a new product also yeah you have like a i call it a cooler ryan said it's not a cooler it's but i'm calling cooler. it a cooler that's not I'll, actually it i'll grab be. it here yeah, real yeah. quick let me just reach in here. uh this is our new air storage and uh the, this was kind of born out of uh need for me a okay bit, all right and, and i say that because i do i spend a lot of time truck camping um i kayak quite a bit whitewater kayaking and we have the platform that has the storage underneath. Right. But I found like my kayak helmet one day, it came out of my gear bag and it rolled, rolled all, all the way up to the front. <laughs> so I got that. And you realize yeah. how short your and arms I'm, really are. I'm a little stouter <laughs> than back in the day and I couldn't reach it. So uh, jokingly, my son used to play hockey. I reach in there with a hockey stick and pull it. Uh -huh. So I told Dan this and uh, out of nowhere, he sends me this message with the computer rendition oh, of wow. what is called our air storage. And the idea of this is you just saw it slides. It's, it's designed to slide underneath the air deck right. so that you can grab it, pull it out okay. and keep your gear. But then Dan, genius Dan, took it a step forward in that he added uh, shelves. I've actually got it upside down. Um, yeah, I mean, you can use it either way, but when the shelves are this direction, there's uh -huh. a lip on them. And these are removable shelves so that you can take it out, all of them. You could turn it this way. Uh -huh. um, you could put your gear in there. I use it on my raft. Yeah. So if, cool. if you wanted to put ice in it, go hey, for it. If it works. Um, definitely not designed as a cooler, but it is insulated. Right. And you could put the shelves back in. The other great thing about this, I'll actually keep this out. The other great thing about this is that we're, uh, we're going to work on different versions of it. Okay. Put a waterproof zipper on it. So it'll become a rigid waterproof bag. The thing I love the most about this is Again, Dan thought of this. We have our D-rings uh -huh. that are on the topper. We put one on here. You can now pull this out of the back 
and just hook it right and on. just hang it up oh and now you have shelving right on the side of your truck you can hang it from a tree you can hang it from anywhere you have shelves uh, if you check out our videos Perfect. online yeah you can have your camp stuff and then once you're done zip it up put it in out i know you can't see it on the camera but as an example here, i'll balance on you yeah yeah go ahead Look at that. So now you're standing on it. It doesn't flex at all. That's perfect. And so in that overland market, we love those plastic boxes that are out there yep. and, the, and the, the the go boxes and whatnot. Those yeah. things are absolutely awesome. This is kind of our version of it. And what you can do is when this is deflated, as an example, a, a deflated version of this, I could fit like five deflated versions in it. I mean, it oh, rolls wow. up just that Super big. Super tight package. So, you nice. know, if you're worried about space, at your house when you're not using it off-roading right. you can simply roll it up put it there when you're ready to go and by the way i know it's not off-roading sorry i'm losing my voice um my wife has a kia soul uh-huh this fits perfectly in the back of the kia oh, soul really? <laughs> she can care less about truck toppers she loves this for going right. to the market yeah going to the store loads brings... it up yep and then brings it right inside so this is so perfect a, a great addition well ken you guys are just killing it very well thought out you're obviously covering all your bases so Great job. Thank like, you so much. Uh, oh, I have to, I mean, great job. I mean, it, you give me goosebumps. It means a lot um, to the people watching and, and people that are learning. Um, it's us. It's myself, Ryan, Dan, and Monique, four person team. We invented it, patented it. When you call us, you don't get a call center, right. you get us. Perfect. You guys got to get on Flated's website. Check it out. Check out what Ken and Ryan and the great crew at Flated are doing. Ken, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really, I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank, thank you. you. All right, guys, we're here at All Top Products with Ken. And Ken, you guys are really new to the market, correct? Yeah. Okay. This is our first year attending SEMA. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys have a range of products for the overlanding exactly. world. Um, and what I'm most interested in, it, in it right now is that tent behind us. Mm -hmm. um, it's very innovative. Uh, so you. I'll start off with clamshell tents. Very, very popular in overlanding. They open this way, you know, they open towards the front. Mm -hmm. Yours open sideways. Yep. Yeah, what inspired that to, to come to fruition? Because uh, we want, uh, there's more room uh, inside the uh, rooftop tent. That's why we make it sideways. And what's more, uh, so people can get into the uh, rooftop tent with a larger entrance. Right. Uh, that's why. Yeah, that's perfect because a lot of people, they have, like myself, I've got a big long drawer system that extends at the back of my mm -hmm. truck. So I don't like having a ladder right there and having the ladder on the side is mm -hmm, awesome. Mm -hmm. So great design. Thank you. So how thick is the mattress? Uh, right now, uh, for this model, mm -hmm. the mattress is four inch thick. Okay. Uh, but we do customize. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, it's optional, so. Okay, and how, is it comfortable? Have you have you laid in it? Mm, yeah, it's good. I slept there last night. <laughs> oh, it is? oh, nice. Well, hey, if you're here, might as well, right? Okay, and then as far as like, are you able to put your sleeping bag and pillow definitely, inside of it to close it down? Okay, yeah. yeah. So besides the pillow mm -hmm. and your bag and any other accessories, also you can put the letter in, in, inside it with a bag. Okay. So, yeah. That's great. And are you able, is there like a rack system on top where you can put things on top of it? Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, we have uh, those uh, extension rack okay. on the top. Uh, so people can put their recovery boards solar panel on it. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what's the price point on this gonna be? The price point we are planning is around 3,000. Oh, so 3,000? Yeah, 3,000. Okay. okay, okay, that's fair. Now, I, I was talking to someone earlier and they mentioned that you actually are like direct to, to market, you know, it's there's no middleman. Mm -hmm. So you are based out of China, obviously, yeah. all your manufacturing is done there exactly. and you are shipping to here directly to the customers, correct? Yeah, we are going to have a warehouse in California and so a shop in Seattle, possibly. Okay. Uh, probably we can finish that done uh, like in the middle of the year. Okay. And we'll start styling. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys have a lot of products. I really like the side opening for the clamshell. Mm -hmm. So thank great you. job. You guys got to be sure to get on their website, check it out. Super cool stuff. Ken, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Kelly. All right, guys, we're here at the Thule booth with Graham. And Graham, you guys have something really cool that is really going to bridge the gap between your overlander and your trailer overland crowd. What do you got? Yeah, uh, we have actually one of the world's first hitch mounted tents. Uh, so it kind of blends and fuses those worlds of a rooftop tent and those who are ultimately looking to have a trailer and maybe a tent on it. Uh, so it's a, a great combination of the two. 
You know, I hear all the time about people that, my, my brother, he is a massive overland trailer guy. He's like, the trailers are where it's at. You go to where you want to go, you go to Moab, you set up camp, you can go do the trails, you come back to camp, and it's a base camp. Um, I am more of a, I like to roam, so I like to leave my, my rooftop tent on my truck. But this is really bridging that gap. This is a, something where you could still do some good trails. You're not going to do massive trails, but you could do some good trails, but then still have that base camp if, if you want it. Yeah, I think, I think one of the great things about this particular product is you always have, at any point in time, the ability to disconnect the tents, leave it wherever your right. base camp might be, and then um, ultimately drive away uh, right. and do whatever adventure you have. So you can do that, or you can obviously take it with you um, because it's connected to your hitch. You have the ability to drive anywhere you want. I would say versus a trailer, where you might be limited as far as okay. some of that terrain that you might be able to go over, uh, you might have a little bit more opportunity right. uh, with something that's connected directly. To so let me ask you this. Let's talk about like the sleep system of it. Yeah. What kind of pad are we looking at? And is there a rain flight of this? Because right now it looks a little bare if you were inclement weather. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so definitely uh, this product was, was developed okay. in Sweden. Uh, very, very wet country. Yes, uh, they and, know rain. <laughs> and so uh, so we have a rain fly that goes on top okay. of it. Uh, furthermore, in terms of Thule testing, uh, we have this uh, large rain chamber, which we're able to simulate some pretty violent oh, storms. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Uh, so we feel very confident that, uh, that you're gonna be just fine uh, during some inclement weather. Okay, um, and then in terms of sleeping, you've got a, a really nice plush um, uh, mattress that uh, folds up in the tent, and then you can obviously always leave your bedding, be it sleeping bag, uh, pillows, all that stuff in there. That was my next question, yeah. perfect. All right, so let's talk about the portability of it. I saw you demonstrate how easily it folds up, folds out, and the ability to unhook it and then rehook it. If you were to, like, I know this is completely hypothetical, but let's just say you hooked it up to a rig, is there a height adjustment? So my yeah. truck has, more height to it. The hitch is obviously higher. Every all the systems are higher. Yeah. Is there a way that you can actually modify yeah. that to work with different height vehicles? Yeah. So that was obviously we wanted to, to develop a product that was as compatible with a wide range of vehicles as possible. So we have each of on our platform that holds the tent. You have some adjustability on the legs of oh, the platform. Perfect, perfect. And then on the hitch itself, you have the ability to flip the adapter over. Uh, so you have a fair amount of adjustment depending on whether or not you have a shorter vehicle, like obviously right. uh, the vehicle behind us, or a more lifted vehicle for your, your overland scenarios. Okay, so now for your true overlander, what can you, what do you forecast to be like ripes in the overland community with this setup? Um, I mean, I think it's, it's all about terrain and, right. and what type of terrain you're looking to go over. Um, you know, if you look at uh, when you have nothing connected to your hitch, right. you obviously have a little bit better uh, entry and extra angles on, on some of that terrain. Um, but if you're also thinking about taking a trailer with you, you're going to run into some of those same Way worse to part as well. <laughs> yeah, for, for sure. um, so, so this solves a little bit of that, I would say, better than a, better than a trailer, um, but obviously not quite as right, flexible right. as a naked vehicle. Okay. Well, Graham, this thing is super cool. I can't wait to see it out in the trail and see what it can do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, guys, that was the absolute coolest, awesome, newest, everything Overland rooftop tents and rooftop tent accessories. Now, if you guys want to check out all this stuff, check the links in the description below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.